Assalamu alaikum doctors in this video I am discussing a recall communications that is about the task is mother not willing to give her 2 hours old newborn baby vitamin K prophylaxis. Uh, the agenda hygiene there is she thinks hepatic cancer phobia. So always uh, against um, device or against medical uh, advice then we will ask may I know why. Remember one information, injection is a must in preterm, sick babies, pregnant mother on antipileptic, uh, then antiplatelet, antitubercular drugs, drug uh, liver disease and spontaneous bleeding from any cause. As usual, we are starting with IRCAP. So how is pregnancy so far? I hope you are all the best. Till now, it is good. Thank you, doctor. With pleasure all the time, I am here today to talk with you about the importance of vitamin K injections. So. Do you like anyone to attend with us? Actually, I do not want to give him vitamin K injection. Why? How much do you know about vitamin K injection? It is related to childhood cancer. Oh, I am really understanding your feelings. But let me tell you, uh, there is no relationship between the vitamin K injection and childhood cancer. I read it online. Fine, even it is online. Actually, many studies in trusted websites approved. There is no relation at all. One of my family children got leukemia from vitamin K. I'm really sorry for your loss, but let me reassure you that leukemia may be caused by many other causes. Vitamin K is not one of them. I'll not give him uh, to my child. Why? Because injection. I do not want to welcome my baby to the world by injections. Oh, I'm really sorry. I understand your feelings. But let me reassure you that we will give him vitamin K injection by very very tiny needle and I can show you it after the end of the meeting okay but I do not want to give him why no reason ma'am can I explain you uh, for you why vitamin K is injection important okay so great vitamin K is important to prevent bleeding and when the baby is born there is no enough amount of vitamin K in his body so the baby is susceptible to bleed within the first day within the first week or after the first month the bleeding can be minimal like just few drops from the belly button and may be severe also he can bleed inside his brain and if this happened it will have catastrophic effect i'm so sorry to tell you that he may not able to move his arms and his legs it will be very serious conditions am i making myself clear so we'll tell that why important vitamin k when a baby born they have no enough vitamin k the vitamin k function is that uh, he, it prevents ble bleeding clotting functions so what happened the deficiency of vitamin k the baby has chance of bleeding after a birth one weeks after uh, one month the bleeding can be minimal just uh, from the belly button but it can be severe like inside the brain it can be occur and we tell it is hemorrhagic disease of the newborn these conditions so that's why we have to give vitamin k every baby to prevent this bleeding okay doctor but i got nurse to breastfeed my baby Amazing. Breastfeeding is the best, but it doesn't have enough amount of vitamin K. Okay, so you mean breast milk is bad? No, I did not say that breast milk is the best option for the baby, but it does not have enough amount of vitamin K. So we need to give him extra from outside. So uh, breast milk has not enough vitamin K, so we need to give extra from the outside. I heard that there is oral type. Um, I really admire your knowledge, but oral type is taken in three doses. One in the first day. One after one week and one after one month. And in uh, only two doses uh, at birth and after one week. So also gut of the babies are born very early, no, not ready for absorption. And these babies have higher rates of vitamin K consumption. So what happened? Mother is telling the oral type will never insist oral type giving. Oral types have three doses. One is the first day, first week and the first month. So... So that is really hazardous to taking uh, the three doses. Another thing is a baby born, uh, baby gut is uh, too much preterm, small. Uh, sometimes they are not enough developed to digest or absorb this oral vitamin K. So that's why there is chance of bleeding. Yeah, so taking the uh, vitamin K orally. Okay, doctor, that is fine with me. Okay, but the baby will not be protected from his bleeding till he take the third dose. Number one, till he take the third dose, baby is not protected. So your baby is susceptible to bleed after the first day and the first month. Are you with me? Okay, doctor, but I decided me and my husband not to give the vitamin K injections. I'm really understanding you and will respect your wishes. I really understand you uh, and I have respect to your wishes. But how about arranging a meeting with the consultant? Okay. 
also i will give you some trusted websites and also some leaflets you can go through them and you can uh, tell us about your final decision just before labor okay uh, could i make a summary for you okay no problem so this is all about vitamin k injections we first ask why the agenda tiny needle we tell the pathophysiology we tell and uh, breastfeeding has not enough uh, vitamin k we tell and uh, Oral type has three days, first day, first week, first month, and still the baby has chance of bleeding. And also, baby has digestion not improved after birth, so sometimes uh, it's not work, uh, actually. Um, so giving IV vitamin K will promote. Then trusted website leaflet as usual. This is all about vitamin K injection, refusal, communication. Thank you.